Alright guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use a codon chart. Um, so I just want to recap real quick what you um, should already know. If, first of all, if you have not watched the DNA uh, PowerPoint video, um, the Nearpod, and the DNA, RNA, and protein synthesis PowerPoint video, then stop. Don't watch this. Go back and do those first, and then come back to this. Because this is just really a supplement to those. Okay, so... Um, hopefully you know about Targos rule and that um, in DNA replication you have one strand that acts as the template and um, that it basically is the code and that thymine um, pairs with adenine, adenine pairs with thymine, cytosine pairs with guanine, and guanine pairs with um, cytosine. Okay, so um, you know, and you learned how you know one strand was the template for the other. It semi-conservative process and each new DNA molecule had one old strand and one new strand. Okay, so that's DNA replication and that is not what I'm going to be talking about in this video. This video is going to be about protein synthesis. We're going to talk about transcription and then translation. Okay, so the first process of uh, protein synthesis, remember, is transcription. And remember that transcription is when um, DNA is converted into mRNA, okay? And so basically DNA has the code or the instructions for making all of your proteins, but DNA is in the nucleus and must stay in the nucleus. So there has to be a way to get that information um, that's in the DNA out to the ribosomes. And so messenger RNA is what carries the instructions, carries that information. Okay, so this process of, of converting DNA into mRNA is going to occur in the nucleus of the cell, okay? Because anything that involves DNA is going to have to do with the nucleus, okay? So it occurs in the nucleus. So let's, um, let's do that process first. So basically what happens is um, you're going to do some of that same base pairing that we learned about with DNA to DNA, but this time, remember, we're converting it from DNA to messenger RNA, and RNA does not have thymine. It has uracil instead. So every time you would have put a, th a T, um, now you're going to put a U. So T is going to pair with A, A is going to pair with U, C is going to pair with G. All right? Now, while you're watching this video, I think it would be a really great idea that like once you think you have it, pause it and try to do the rest of the problem yourself and then start it back up and, and check yourself and see how you did. All right, so let's keep going. So we've got C, C, G. So that would code um, or convert to G, G, C. Okay, and then T, G, G. T would pair with A, G would pair with C, G would pair with C. Okay, our next DNA triplet is GCG. The G would pair with C in mRNA, the C would pair with G in mRNA, and then the G in DNA would pair with C in the mRNA. And then our last one, we have ACT, the A would, would pair with U, because remember, there are no T's in RNA, the C would pair with G, and the T would pair with A. Okay, and so that process right there, what we just did, is basically transcription. We converted the DNA into messenger RNA codons. Okay, so each one of these three letters here is what we call a codon. All right, now this chart is the codon chart, and you've got your bases all along the sides, on top, and then in here, all these three letter words, they're not really words, but these three letters, um, these are your, uh, these are abbreviations for amino acids. Okay, so we're going to start with this first codon right here. We got AUG. So notice we're on our chart, we have first base, second base, and third base. All right, so let's look at this first codon, AUG. The first base is A. So we'll come along here on the side, and we'll find the A. Well, here's the A. So that tells us it has to be on this row. Okay, our amino acid has to be on this row. 
All right, then we say, okay, what's our second base? Well, our second base is U. So we come up here to where it says second base, and we find the U. Well, here's the U. So we're going to draw a line, and we're going to say, where do they intersect? Well, they intersect right here with this box. So now that tells us the amino acid that we're looking for, it's got to be one of these four right here. So then we'll say, okay, our last base is G. So we come over here to where it says third base, come down to this line that it has to be on, remember, find the G, and then work your way back to that box. And there it is. It is <coughs> methionine, MET. Okay. So now, hopefully y'all are getting it. If you are, I want you to pause the video. I want you to Go and see if you can't do the rest of them. And then you can you know, just hit play and, and check yourself and see how you did. All right. If you're not quite getting it or you think you need another one, pay attention. Let's do the next one together. All right. GGC. So we'll find the first base. First base is G. So we come on the side here. Here's G. So we know it has to be on this row right here. Then we're going to our next base. Okay, cars coming by. Okay, our next base is G. So here we are. Here's the G. Here's the second base. We come down. Where do they intersect? Okay, so they intersect in that box right here. But this is an easy one because if you notice, they're all the same. They're all G L Y glycine. But just for, for practice sake, let's go ahead and work it out. So C is our third base. So we'll come down to that row and find the C, and it is glycine. So we would write G-L-Y. Okay. Hopefully everybody's like, oh, this is easy. Okay, so let's do the next one. Okay, this time we have A-C-C, A-C-C. So A is our first base, so here's A. Draw a line here, so it's got to be on this row. C, so our second base is C. We draw a line down, and we say, where do they intersect? Okay, well, they intersect right here, this box right here. And then we would say C is our third base. Come down here, find that C, come back, and it is therine, T-H-R. Theranine, I believe is what it's written in English. Okay, so these are all amino acids, so these different amino acids um, come together to make the protein. All right, now our next one. Let's erase this. Okay, we've got C G C this time. C G C. So C is our first base. So it's on this row. G is our second base. We draw a line down. And say, okay, they intersect right here in this box. We'll say, okay, C is our third base, and here's the C, and it is arginine, so A-R-G. All right, and let's do our last one here. Hopefully everybody's catching on. Okay, our last one is U-G-A. So U, G, A. So use our first base. So we find the first base is over here. So here's U. It's got to be on this line. G is our second base. Here's the G. So now we know, okay, it's got to be right here where they intersect. Which is this box right here. So then we'll come to over here to the third base, to this box. And we say, okay, G, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, A, excuse me. We draw a line over, and there it is, stop. You might be thinking, stop, what? But yeah, that's the stop codon, and that signals that it's the end of the protein and um, for the ribosome to stop. Okay, so that process that we just did is translation. Okay, so let's recap that real quick. So translation, remember that is going from mRNA to protein. And that process is going to happen at the 
grab them. Okay, so what we did here, going from DNA to mRNA, this right here, that was transcription, happens in the nucleus, and then the process that we did right here, where we went from mRNA to amino acids to create a protein, that was translation. Together, these two things, all of this, makes up protein synthesis. Okay, so now I want to real quickly show you how to use the circle chart. Okay, so same thing, you know, DNA converted to mRNA. So now we're going to take our codons and we're going to look them up over here on this circle chart. Now the circle chart, notice it starts out in the middle, kind of a bullseye. It's got big letters. So that's your first base. And then this circle right here is kind of medium size. That's your second base. And then these letters are a little bit smaller. That's your third base. Okay, and then on the very outside are the amino acids. All right, so let's start with AUG, like we did before. Okay, A is our first base, so we got to find our A in the center of the circle. So here it is. So now we know, okay, it's in this quadrant, the A quadrant. See how the circle is split up into four quadrants. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I'm going to draw that out so you can see it a little bit better. All right, so you're going to... The first base is A, so here's A. Second base is G. All right, so then we come in this quadrant, we find the, the medium size U, there it is. Okay, and then our third base is G, so we, we know, okay, it's gotta be in this section right here. And so we find the G, there it is, and so it is methionine. So A, U, G, and then the amino acid is methionine. And if you remember, that's what we learned, or that's what we figured out with the box charts. They should match. Okay, next is GGC. Okay, let's erase this right here. Alright, so we got G is our first base, so find the, the big G in the middle. There it is. And then G is our second base, right there. And then C. And it's got to be in the same little section here. C. So G, G, C, and you can say your amino acid is glycine, G L Y. Okay, our next one. Now, if you're getting this, I want you to stop the video and I want you to try to do it on your own, and then you can start it back and check yourself. Alright, so let's erase that. Let's do our next one. We, this time we have A, C, C. So we're going to say find the A. Here's the first base, A. Second base is C. There it is. And then our third base is C. Remember, they all have to be in that same little section right here. So A, C, C, which is therine. T, H, R. Okay. Next, we got C, G, C. So you got to find. C is your first base, so find that, that big C in the center, and there it is. G is your second base, so find your medium size G here, there it is right there. So C, G, and then the last base is C, so remember it has to be in the same area as G, but the next smallest letter, so it's G, I mean, I'm sorry, C, G, C, so arginine is your amino acid. And then our last one, UGA. Okay, and then so we erase that. Okay, so UGA. So find the first base, which was U. Find first base, which was U. And then the second base is G. So there's the G. And then your last, remember it has to be in this section. Your last base is A, so UGA, and so your amino acid is stop, which is not an amino acid, but it's your stop codon. Um, so that signals that it is the end of that polypeptide chain, which is your protein.
okay. So you get to, you know, if you don't really understand or you don't really like the box chart, you can use the circle chart or vice versa, or you could use one and then check yourself using the other. Um, you know, watch the video more than one time if you need to, to make sure you got it. So, um, y'all keep working hard and get all your stuff done, and I'll, I'll talk to you later.